y'all what's up so today I'm making a video I'm so excited so it's been a long time coming I have not been on my channel in forever I feel like but I'm actually really excited to get going with some more videos um, just got home from college so I am in my hometown just chilling looking for jobs doing the whole nine yards so today I decided to do a look uh, right here I think it turned out really really pretty it's super dramatic and smoky but I really do love how it turned out and I really hope you guys did too. So I would love it if you guys would keep watching. You guys can subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more often, I promise. <laughs> and um, I also do have social media that you can follow as well. I will leave those linked below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this and leave me a comment if you guys want to see anything new or any other looks that you guys would like me to do. Uh, I would love to hear them. So without further ado, let's get going with the video. So I first start with my Makeup Forever foundation. Um, it's in N120 and I just buff it into my face. Next I'm gonna take my concealer and just highlight the areas of the face that I want to brighten and also conceal any blemishes that I have. Now I'm using the Makeup Forever Translucent, Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder and just setting my whole face with that. Next I'm going to use my trusty Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I'm going to just contour my face uh, just lightly in the areas that I want to slim my face a little bit. Next I'm going to use my All May Brow Definer and just uh, do my brows off camera. And now I'm using the Makeup Geek uh, Creme Brulee and Peach Smoothie just to warm up the eye for the uh, next colors. Now I'm taking Lavender from the uh, Lorac Pro and just kind of putting in some cool tones. I'm not really doing much with this color, um, just kind of setting down some cooler tones. Now I'm using the purple in this palette and this is where I'm starting to kind of start a halo eye. Um, so I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye and also the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to kind of connect those two into my crease and while pulling it into, my, uh, into the ball of my eye but also leaving that area free of color. So now I'm just taking another fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out all that color that I put in, but I'm not going to blend too much. I'm just trying to kind of feather out the shade so it's not as harsh. Now I'm taking ash and I'm kind of deepening up those colors that I previously applied. So it's going to look a little harsh at first, but once you take the fluffy brush and you blend out that shade some, then it looks a lot better. Now I'm taking the purple and lavender shades and just applying them the same places that I did on the top but on the bottom. Next I'm going to take the Prosecco color in the palette and I'm just using my finger to get the most color payoff but I'm just going to put that in the ball of my eye where there was no color and I'm doing the same on the bottom as well. Next I'm taking light from the palette and I'm putting that on the top of my brow bone just to highlight. Next I'm applying a wing and then I'm also lining the outer rim of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to curl and apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And now I'm going to apply these Eyelore Definition number 126. And then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and just kind of redefine my contour that I had previously applied. Now I'm going to take the highlighting shade from the same palette and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes just kind of to pop and brighten the under eye area. I'm now going to use the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and apply that to my cheekbones, uh, down my bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my Cupid's bow area. Now I'm going to use the Milani Cosmetics Luminous 
no sew blush and I'm going to apply that a little bit to my cheeks. So I was between two different colors in lipstick today and I ended up actually going with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip in Bow and Arrow. So that completes the look today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe. I will be back shortly. I love you guys. Bye.